Boom shakalaka, last dip before Bitcoin takes off, or are we about to get destroyed by minor capitulation? Stay tuned. What's up, everyone? Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, we're taking a look at a lot of very interesting charts for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, including are we about to take off or is the price about to crash thanks to Bitcoin minor capitulation? Before we get into it, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. Come join us on Twitter at the Crypto Love. Push that like button. Now, today, fear and greed at 63, up a little bit from yesterday and from last Week, the overall market though down 2%, Bitcoin at 28,550, Ethereum at 1848, BNB at 335, XRP 46 cents, Cardano 39 cents, Dogecoin 7 cents, Polygon 98 cents, and Solana 2231. And the top coins today based on AI like ChatGPT, but specifically for crypto, would be Nexo, Maple, Dex Tools, Cedify Fund, and ZikTalk. And if you want to check out token metrics for yourself, there is a free trial down in the description. Now, Bitcoin today, you can see this wedge here. Resistance right up here and support this yellow line, the 50 day moving average. We have a breakout coming by about May 7th. As you can see, it's just coiling up in there. Breakout up, breakout down. Who's to say? Stay tuned for the episode today, right? Bitcoin right now has been met with some resistance at the current levels we were at, right underneath $30,000. Now, should this be any surprise? This was pretty much resistance levels before the price broke down. Similarly, like we saw two previous cycles where resistance before price broke down, we saw resistance at those same levels. And again, resistance before price broke down, we saw resistance at those levels. Is this a surprise? Well, a lot of people are calling for lower prices. They're saying, hey, this is a bull trap. But if we take a look, there is not a divergence. There's actually a convergence this time, meaning it is not a bull trap. We could see a bull trap back here in 2021 as prices were going higher and as the on balance volume was going lower. But right now, on balance volume and price going up, not a divergence. So therefore, not a bull trap. However, you do need to keep your eye out on this one chart. The Bitcoin hash ribbons, potentially, miners have capitulated the past two summers when we saw a cross in this blue and green line. You can see the areas where, where the green was underneath the blue are here highlighted in red. You know what happens when miners capitulate? price of Bitcoin goes down dramatically. Now, we are about to have a cross of these levels. Didn't happen right back here, it should be noted, but pretty much every other time there was minor capitulation, price pretty much went down. We could see that happening again. So a lot of people are calling for Bitcoin going to $10,000 once again. Well, if we compare this with previously back, I remember this when Bitcoin was just hovering above $3,000, seemed like the end of the world, and people were saying, hey, Bitcoin's going to $1,000. And then you know what? Over the next year, it went up to $14,000. Well, when Bitcoin was at 15, people are saying, hey, I'm going to wait till it goes down to 10. And, you know, if we were to go up to the same levels, Bitcoin would hit that forty dollars to $50,000 mark that everyone's talking about for a mid-cycle top. Now, Bitcoin has just had a reversal confirmed. The Rob Booker reversal indicator now flashing a bullish signal on the 10-day chart. Fourth time in history. Every time it flashed this, was right before massive bull runs. And a lot of other charts suggesting the same thing, like this one right here. We have repeated the pattern once again. Price coming down, V-shaped recovery, and then we have an ascending wedge breakout below before taking off and the price going up 6.5x. Well, price coming down, V-shaped wedge, breakout from ascending wedge, and if this Bitcoin were to do the same thing, guess what? Roughly $200,000. Bitcoin, are we about to take off? A lot of indicators say yes. If we take a look at the stock RSI, we can see we have just left the accumulation phase when it is under this dotted line right here. We've just left accumulation and generally after accumulation ends, markup phase begins where price starts to go up drastically. Not only that, we have the Bollinger Band width percentile gives a bullish cross that we can see it right here on the two month chart signaling decent up moves in previous years. We could have the same thing. The last time it was 700%, the time before that was 4,000% gains for Bitcoin. Whatever Bitcoin does, cryptocurrency is going to do as well. We see on the three-day chart, we have the parallel channel and falling wedge. So this is the parallel channel. And then in green is all the falling wedges. Well, Bitcoin, when Bitcoin hits support on the parallel channel from the falling wedge and breaks out from there, generally the price takes off. This is also paired with the money flow indicator oversold 
coming back towards not oversold or even undersold levels, well, generally the price takes off. So all these indicators so far suggesting that price is about to take off and it finally happened, a bullish MACD on monthly candles. The longer the time frame for the MACD and for other indicators, the more significant it is. If we take a look every single time in history, there was a bullish MACD on the monthly chart. Look at what Bitcoin did, 12,000%. I can't even see how many percent, it's very small. But, I mean, it's a large percent, but it's written very, very small, 7,000%, something like that. So every time Bitcoin has a massive run with these percents in the, the monthly MACD cross, which brings us to this. We talk about Bitcoin cycles in terms of emotions with capitulation, hope and fear, optimism, anxiety, belief, denial, and euphoria and greed. And as we take a look at this, we have exit capitulation period, which we had in all of the previous cycles. We've come back up to the orange and even the yellow. So going through hope and fear, getting towards optimism and anxiety. Not yet into belief or denial and euphoria or greed, but if we compare where we are in previous cycles, this is still the moments before the price actually takes off, but really when it all starts, which brings us to this chart. Very, very interesting. You may be thinking the current Bitcoin prices of almost $30,000 are high, but one year holders still have no interest in selling their coins. The decline of one year holders is a mark of the true bull run, which hasn't occurred yet. We can see here this orange line is the one year holders and you can see as the number increases and as the number decreases this correlates with the bull runs right now we are in the area where the one year holders is kind of flattening out a little bit this happens before a decrease which is the one year holder sell off and the bull run so still don't believe we're just getting started well check out this chart because this says otherwise so that's all for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, push that like button. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. From now on, if you don't own Bitcoin, you're a moron.